from the Auction Community Studios on this Friday morning. It is the Wolf and Luke show. We are in the studios, Wolf, and that's probably a good thing with everything that's going on in the pack. Let's see, 12, but really it's 10, but actually it's 9, and now it's 7, but it could be 6. Eventually it might be the pack 1 with just ASU hanging on. Yeah, exactly. What is going on, Luke? What are you talking about? (sighs) Well... (laughs) It's funny, talking in the newsroom in the pre-show meeting, boy, this just changes so much. What are we going to – we just got to be ready for it to change. It changes every five minutes. And since our pre-show meeting, it sure sounds like Oregon and Washington are out. So I guess let's just start there. Okay. Um, Say it definitively, though, right? Oregon and Washington are leaving the Pac-12. Yes. Okay. That's – All right, it doesn't seem like that. It is, right? They're in the final stages, the big – the Big Ten is in the final stages of adding Oregon and Washington. They went to that Pac-12 meeting this morning that, I mean, (laughs) we're getting mixed messages constantly. I have to think a lot of this is posturing by certain teams. I wrote this down in my notes 20 minutes ago, Wolf, and then it obviously changed. But I was reading a story on CBS. This is how crazy this has gotten, okay? And it said, uh, CBS Sports learned Thursday night that Washington had concerns over additional travel costs the athletic program would face in journeying to Big Ten locations. Those increased financial obligations could total more than $10 million per year for the university, sources said. Yes. This is how ridiculous it is. I wrote down in my notes, okay, well, you're making more than that additionally by moving to the Big Ten anyway over the Pac-12 media deal. And if I'm Washington and I'm moving to the Big Ten, it's only going to get better. The deals are only going to get better for me year over year. Right. This is all inevitable. Like, I'll, I'll reset this one final time because I know this is going to be a big topic for the show today. I love the Pac-12. I don't want it to fold. It is folding. It is folding before our very eyes right now. You have to say that. This this is going to be the trigger, right? I mean, this is it right here. It was USC and UCLA. Oh, my goodness. I put everybody on notice. But I could see where people were like, we can still have the Pac-12. We can still have the Pac-12. And then you had Colorado. Oh, the rats. The rats of the Pac-12. Colorado scurrying. And suddenly, boom, there they go. They left the Pac-12 to go back to the Big 12. And that that was, okay, that didn't look good. That was a bad look. Mm-hmm. But I think everyone knew that, you know, you could replace them. SMU, we'll grab SMU. If That's you what could, we'll do. If you could somehow get San Diego State, you'd still have an in in Southern California. Yes, exactly. Yeah, something. You could replace you Colorado. You could replace Colorado. Just ask Dan Lane. But, but it was a bad look, wasn't it? It was a bad look. It put everyone on notice once again. This, this right here, Oregon, and Washington leaving, going to the Big Ten. You can see this coming a mile away. We've been talking about it for a long time, but here it is. This, this is it, Luke. This is what's frustrating to me, though, as somebody who went to ASU. The second USC and UCLA left last summer, you and I both looked at each other in the studio and said, okay, well, Oregon's next. Now, they weren't technically next, I guess, Colorado. But either way, it, 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 when Oregon leaves, the Pac-12 is done. Right. We all knew this was going to happen. Why? And maybe some of this is conflicting reports, but why is everything we're hearing, even coming out of that Board of Regents meeting last night, why is ASU so steadfast in sticking with the Pac-12? Because it sounds like U of A is ready to go, too, and that would take it down to the Pac-6. And for some reason, it appears, and we're going to talk to Chris Cartman later on the show. We're going to talk to Matt Barry. We're going to try and get to the bottom of this. It seems like ASU's like, no, we got to stick with the Pac-12. There is no Pac-12. And if there is a Pac-12, it's just going to be the Mountain West renamed as the Pac-12. Yes, yes. you know, I, I know exactly what you're talking about, but I have to talk about what has happened here with the Pac-12 and the Big Ten before I can actually get to that right now. This, this is something Oregon already let the Pac-12 know. They were on notice right now. They were because they were the ones dragging their feet in this meeting, of course. They were the, they, they couldn't come to a consensus. Why? Because of the ducks. Why, why do you think that is? <laughs> because the ducks were already gone, and yep. they knew they were already gone. I think the U of A is very, very similar to that right now. I think the U of A knows they're gone as well, and they're going to the Big 12. They want ASU, believe it or not. I think they want ASU to come with them. And that's why the Board of Regents last night could not actually come to a vote. They didn't even vote. What are you doing? Are you kidding me? They could not even come to a resolution on on what they're going to do. 
because the U of A wants out, and I think ASU does not. So, and I think that's why they couldn't come to it. What what other logical answer is there? That's it, but that's not a logical answer. Like again, when I if I say anything about ASU in my mind, it's almost self deprecating humor, right? Because I went there and they have all my money. Like <laughs> I love ASU. Okay, <laughs> a joke about Michael Crow a lot on double. the show. Michael Crow's very sharp guy, very smart guy. He's done a lot for that university. How do you call yourself number one in innovation if you're the only one sticking around a conference that's dying? Like, what is going on? Yeah, I know. That is, it's got to be hard. Right I, now. This is this is it. The Oregon and Washington leaving now, right? This is, this is it. Wh- I, this is, I would is, hope so. Is this so. what he's been waiting for? Is this what Michael Crow has been waiting for? Could we, before we get off the air today, actually get word? That the U of A and ASU, they're on their way. You don't have a Power 5 conference if you don't have USC and Oregon. And and certainly if you don't have USC, Oregon, Washington, and UCLA. Colorado, whatever, that's a number. I mean, Washington is a good school. They that are. a Power 5 you school. You can't lose these schools. And, and anybody, and we're going to have a listeners-only meeting later on, too. Anybody that, that the thought is like, well, no, you can rebuild the Pac-12, you can. It will be smaller conferences just renamed as the Pac-12. Why do you want to stay in that? You know, more on this. As all, the, the, all your rivals are leaving. Right. No, you're, you're right. More on this as the show unfolds right now. What is the Big Ten doing? See, they, 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 this is the only, the only thing that makes sense to me is the Big Ten was not ready for this kind of exodus. They were not ready for this kind of migration. They were they were not ready for the Pac-12 to completely fold. They were not ready for it. USC and UCLA, because what really makes sense, and you know this, once again, this is what makes sense to me. You got to have the Big Ten. Big Ten, most of the schools are, are around the Great Lakes. Mm-hmm. Stop and think about it. Northeast and the Great Lakes, that's the Big Ten. Now, all of a sudden, you've got to have the Big Ten West. In the Big Ten East. Well, yeah, there goes your your travel concern. That's what it is. But you, why wouldn't you absorb as many Pac-12 schools as you possibly could right now and be and put it under the Big Ten umbrella? Yeah. Because what they really want to preserve is the Rose Bowl. And I know the Rose Bowl technically is going to be used in the BCS and the bowl rotation system. Of course, we all understand that. But at the same time, they want to keep that alive, that West Coast schools against their, their big... 10 back east. How many times have we said in the last year, and and this is what's maddening to me, everybody saw this coming except seemingly the Pac-12. It's just a matter of time between Oregon and Washington before they leave. Now I would say to the point you're making, it's not quite as inevitable, but it seems pretty inevitable at some point the Big Ten's going to take Stanford and Cal too. Why wouldn't you? Right, I know, and it, this is the only reason why I'm like, what is the Big Ten doing? Now's the opportunity. Suck up as many Pac-12 schools as you possibly could and make the Big Ten East or Big Ten West. I'm sorry. The Big Ten West is what I was saying. Why wouldn't you do that and keep that alive? You got this division out west, and we've got this division right here in our conference. Uh, I and we'll keep it alive. We'll keep that alive. And these guys, these schools, the West Coast schools can play each other. That's why. And I'm now, not even every saying... now and then. Every now and then, right, Luke? Every now and then, we'll still have a crossover game twice yeah. a year. You'll you'll have and that the Big West Ten Coast championship. trip. That, that's why I'm wondering if there's more to this, and I don't know if it's that or something else, but it, it doesn't make any sense that ASU would be like, nope, we're staying here. We're just going to – it's just going to be us and Oregon State. Like, if you have an out – because, again, a team like Oregon, even if they turn down the Big Ten right now, they still have that out a year from now. I'm not sure ASU is going to have that out. If the Big 12 is like, we have to keep adding schools because the Big Ten's getting bigger and bigger, Yes, there's a story out there that if they don't get U of A, they're going to go get UConn. Yes. If I'm U of A, I'm not allowing that to happen. UConn, look, U of A is a better football program. UConn's got five national titles. Like, you can understand why the Big 12 would be looking at them. So if I'm U of A, I can wait for ASU only so long. So I wonder if ASU is like, hey, is the Big 10 an option? Is there something more? Is it just posturing? Something doesn't add up right now. It just doesn't. Well, you know what, honestly, right right now, speaking of that, the – Mal, what time did it come down about Oregon and Washington leaving? What time was that? Maybe 20 minutes ago. Okay, maybe 20 minutes ago. Okay, so right now, this is it. If this doesn't get Michael Crow to make a decision one way or the other, 
on the U of A and actually maybe going to the Big 12 with the U of A. Nothing will. This is it. If we, if, if, we're, if we're we get to the point where ASU is like, no, we're going to stick around. Somebody needs to step in for the better of the you, right, sports There programs. needs to be an intervention. Because it's only going to get worse year after year after Correct. this if you stick around.